this video I'm going to demonstrate how to copy a tool path. Um, first of all I'm going to move my little arrow up the way and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the roughing contour tool path and essentially change it to go around this contour here so this sort of a profile we'll call it to go around that part there. So again just making sure I just select the one tool path that I want to copy right click and drag and just say copy after so again this contour and this contour is identical i'm going to go to the parameters of this contour and in under geometry i'm going to essentially right click where it says chain one and i'm going to rechain it i'm just going to rechain single and again on here just with my chaining dialog box open i'm going to select c plane and a full chain and I'm going to pick on this point here on that line. That means I'm going to start here, go all the way around the yellow geometry, and again, you can see my cutter compensation is to the left on here. So again, just go OK on there and regenerate the operation. So now you can see basically, again, if I was to look down at the top, this is a roughing pass. Um, and if I went to the parameters, you can see the compensation is in the computer. The stock to be left on is 0.6. Um, and again, all my speeds and feeds and tool numbers are correct. And this is going to be rough, I'll just call it inner profile. Okay, the only thing that I really need to change on this then is the depth. So I go into my parameters, go to my linking parameters, and again, this depth here is going to be minus 5. And regenerate. So now what I have is a face mill operation on the top, a roughing contour going around the outside of the block, another roughing contour, this time going around the inner contour, and a, a finish pass. So I'm going to select all operations and do a verify. Just for clarity here, I'm going to stop at an operation chain, so at the end of each operation. So now if I press play, you can see it stops after it does the face mill operation. Then I have a roughing pass going around the outside. Now I have a second roughing pass going around the inner profile. And finally, a finish pass going around the outside. Okay, so I'm a little bit worried about the way I'm leaving this pip on here. So again, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify that tool path. So right click again, and isometric. It can get quite confusing when you see all the operations on here when they're all highlighted. So again, if I say only display selected operation, and if I click on that, you can see that's the face mill operation. Then that's my roughing contour. So I want to modify this. So back into the parameters on here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give it multi passes. So I'm happy that it does it all in one depth of cut, but I'm going to create multi passes. So I'm going to give it three cuts, and the spacing between the cuts is four millimeters. Again, I'm not going to include a finish pass. I prefer to keep that as a separate operation. So regenerate that. Again, select all operations and verify. So here I'm just going to reduce my speed a bit and again play. So that's my face mill operation roughing the outer block. Now a multi-pass contour, so doing this in three passes. And again, that's a roughing contour leaving 0.6 stock on the sidewall. And then finally a finish pass to go around the outside of the block. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to copy this operation. So right click, drag, say copy after. And in here, go into the parameters and essentially turn off multi-passes. So what I'm trying to do is convert it into just a single finish pass. Put my cut parameters back to control so that I can modify the size on the machine. The stock to be left on is zero, two, and say finish. 
in our profile and regenerate the toolpath. So again, I'm applying color compensation to do a finish pass going around here.